Join us for this video where we're going to take a look at all the different products that you can make with mushrooms. So the last decade has seen an absolute explosion in mushroom related product and I thought I was actually quite aware of what was out there. I had a look to come up with this list that we present to you in this video and I was absolutely amazed by what I didn't know. So this explosion in mushroom related products is probably due to a number of reasons like popular TEDx talks, books, documentaries, increasing research into psychedelics. And if you feel we've missed anything, drop it in the comments below. I'm going to dive straight in. So the first one might seem blatantly obvious to you, that's fresh mushrooms. But what I wanted to draw your attention to is that these days you can get so many more different varieties in so many more different places. So you can buy lion's mane, you can buy shiitake and oyster mushrooms in places like farmers markets, but also often in the supermarkets. And this is off the back of a lot of small growers providing mushrooms locally and lots of them also make their own mushroom spawn or they simply buy it in and in case you're wondering what mushroom spawn is it's like the seed to grow the mushrooms it's like the mycelial network often on grain that you use to incubate inoculate rather the substrate and if you want to keep it super simple and just try your hand at growing your own mushrooms you can obviously buy mushroom grow kits like the ones you can see behind me you can just grow them in the comfort of your own home and cook the freshest mushrooms ever so similar to a mushroom kit you can also buy log kits and these either come with a freshly cut log and some spawn that you can add into it or sometimes they also come fully inoculated and ready to fruit and it's just a really nice easy way of growing mushrooms on a log at home in a similar way to a kit. Likewise a lot of new growers start with mushroom substrate and this is just a ready inoculated uh, bag of substrate that's ready to fruit the mushrooms and you can buy them in bulk and just set them up in the fruiting room and grow them yourself. Now, if you want to learn how to make your own mushroom substrate, you can attend a course or a workshop, uh, either in person at a farm locally to you or online, like the course that we run ourselves. And you can learn how to do this whole process yourself, how to make substrate, how to build a fruiting room and how to grow your own mushrooms or set up your own farm. Now, all these things we've mentioned so far, they're more to do with uh, the production of mushrooms. And I want to just move on now and talk about all the vast array of products that people are making with mushrooms, which is also really, really interesting. So fresh mushrooms don't come with a long shelf life, which is why lots of people buy dried mushrooms. You just keep it in your cupboard and make sure you never miss out on adding some mushrooms to your favorite dish. Now, if you look at dried mushrooms, other people take it to the next level by just making a powder. You know, you can blend it, you can buy these things off the shelf as well. And that means that you can just sprinkle it over your food for seasoning. Now, yet other people take this to a further level Level by carefully selecting which mushrooms to dry, blending them into a superfood powder that you can use to unlock all of the medicinal benefits that come with mushrooms like chaga, reishi and cordyceps for instance. Next up then is pickled mushrooms. This is where you add fresh mushrooms into a vinegar solution and you can add lots of other seasoning to it to give them whatever flavour you might like. When it comes to medicinal mushrooms, there's just such a wide diversity of products out there these days. And one of the most popular is a mushroom tincture. Now this is just a concentrated form, unlocking all the medicinal benefits from the mushrooms themselves into a little uh, bottle of liquid you can just take on the tip of your tongue every day in a dropper format. And moving on from that is a similar concept, but one which people can also incorporate into their life easily. That's mushroom coffee. Now this is infused with the coffee grounds itself and so when you're just having that cup of coffee in the morning it's already got the benefit of the medicinal mushrooms baked into it and likewise very similar products that people are making now mushroom hot chocolate and also mushroom tea and it's the same concept really just mixing the medicinal mushrooms in with other flavors and in a format that people are already uh, consuming just making it super easy for you to get that medicinal benefit in your life. So lots of us are familiar with soy milk and oat milk as milk alternatives, but you can also now buy mushroom milk. And this is another great way to unlock the functional benefits of medicinal mushrooms. So all of those products we just discussed make it really easy to access the benefits of mushrooms, of course, but it doesn't get much easier than with the next two products I'm going to show you. So this one is from our friend Tony over at Fresh Cap. It's mushroom gummies. This one is based on a dual extracted six different types of mushrooms and it's cola flavored as well so you can just imagine how easy it is to just snack on these when you're working away at your desk. Next up then is mushroom chocolate and some of these contain a little bit of psilocybin and now that's meant for microdosing so you want to take one piece a day 
and you don't want to snack on the whole bar at once, of course. But psilocybin is interesting in itself because it's known to treat stuff like depression and anxiety. There's a lot of research going on. And if you're interested to find out more, you can check out Michael Pollan's book on how to change your mind or check it out on a Netflix documentary. That's well worth watching. So you might also find out there now mushroom beer. Now this can be all sorts of different mushrooms infused with the brewing process. You can get shiitake beer, for example, but you can also get medicinal mushroom beer. There's a company in the UK called Function and they make a range of different medicinal uh, beers. There's Chaga Lager, there's Lion's Mane IPA. Uh, delicious alcohol-free beers infused with medicinal mushrooms. So back to eating mushrooms as food, there is a huge range of ready meals now that you can get which uh, feature mushrooms as the main ingredient. And this really enables you to get the convenience of ready meals and, and takeaway food in a format that's also really healthy and full of top end ingredients as well. Next up then, there is a new development we've seen just in the last few years really, where you use mushrooms to ferment waste byproducts in huge kind of vats and containers. And out of that, the mycelium produces some new materials that we've never seen before. So for example, one of the things you can do is create a flavor enhancer. Why would you do that, you might ask? Well, quite often industrial food manufacturers, they're adding lots of sugar, fat, and salt into the food in order to mask off flavors or simply to make it taste nice. Well, this new breed of materials that mushrooms can help to create mean that you can reduce or even eliminate completely these harmful additives that we're putting into our food to make it taste good. Instead, we're gonna get them from a natural source and we're not gonna be adding all the extra fat, sugar, and salt to our food. So similar processes are now used to create mushroom steaks as a meat replacement. And one that I particularly like is something called my bacon, which is made in the States using something called Swirzy silos, where you get mycelial tissue and in nine days, it's just ready. It's a meat replacement version of my bacon and compare that to, for instance, rearing a pig six months or a cow in a field for three years, for instance. I mean, the benefits in terms of land use are pretty obvious. So another product you wouldn't have seen 10 years ago is mushroom jerky. It's really popular. There's a popular one in the States called uh, Pan's Mushroom Jerky, for instance. Loads of them popping up here in the UK as well. And rightly so, it's a really lovely way to use mushrooms as a healthy snack. And going down the snack route even more, mushroom crisps. This one here on the screen is just made of oyster mushrooms and they are actually really lovely to chomp on. Another new product that I hadn't seen before is mushroom skincare products. So this is to utilize the benefit of some mushrooms that have antioxidant properties and can help soothe sensitive skin. So you see face masks and face cream uh, and the mushrooms within the ingredient set seem to have a really beneficial impact on, on the skin and stopping it from aging. So moving away from human benefits for a minute to the world of plants. So vast majority of, of plants around the world have a symbiotic relationship in their root system with various different types of fungi. And uh, some of those are the most highly prized gourmet varieties, things like chanterelles or seps. These live in association with the true tree roots and provide benefit to the tree, uh, whilst the mushrooms get some benefit from that relationship as well. And you can buy a mycorrhizal liquid solution that you dip the a root system of a young plant or sapling uh, into before you plant it out so that that uh, relationship can be established when it goes into the soil. Another useful liquid that mushrooms can be used for is to create bioethanol. So this works in a similar way to the fermentation tanks I mentioned just a minute ago. You can ferment waste byproducts using mycelium in a liquid format and it will produce a bioethanol that can be used as a fuel. And now we come to another mushroom-based innovation, and this one is by guys called Ecovative over in the States. And what they do is they aim to replace products like styrofoam with products grown using mycelium. And the impact of this can be enormous, of course, because if you imagine just replacing all the styrofoam that's used to ship, for instance, computers around the world, if you replace that with a biodegradable product like this, the world would be a better place. Now, if you apply that in another setting, using mycelium as building materials or insulation materials, then the impact of this combined, of course, would be enormous. And you can do that. So these materials are all made using mycelium as the binding agent. And I've seen that it can work. I visited the fungi pavilion at an expo once, and it's a wonderful structure made using mycelium. And when you use the same principle by using mycelium as a binding agent and you create molds, you can create all sorts of shapes. And this is how people now create mushroom art, sculptures. You can see a whole host of things like lamps as well. Next up is, uh... oh, mushroom hats. Yeah, 
Mushroom hats, um, interesting tradition comes out of Romania, making hats from the Amadou mushroom. You'll have seen Paul Stamets walking around with his hat like this. It's a wonderful material. It's almost like felt or leather, uh, traditionally turned into hats, but also placemats, fridge magnets, and a whole host of other things. It's a cool application for mushrooms. Another material that's similar to the hat is mushroom leather. Now this is actually grown as opposed to produced from a mushroom fruit and body. This is grown like mycelium, and we've seen it used in various products like bags, uh, shoes, clothing. And I think it's a really interesting development as you see the move away from animal-based products to have them grown from materials like mushrooms instead is really cool to see. Now a couple of things you can make with mushrooms that have a longer history of use are mushroom dyes and also mushroom spore print art. So mushroom dyes, there are certain mushrooms that when mixed with water and blended up will create a, a dye of various different colors you can use for either dyeing materials or for making bits of art. And likewise with the uh, spore prints, you basically leave a mushroom face down on a piece of paper covered up with a cup and overnight it will drop its spores and they make the most beautiful patterns. And some people have taken this to the next level with bits of wind that blow through to spread the spores off in different directions, as you can see on the screen here. So given that mushrooms are nature's recyclers, they also have a role to play in our afterlife. So an example here is a mushroom burial suit developed by an artist some years ago. And the idea was to rid the body of toxins after the burial. Now I'm not sure how or if this actually works, but what does work is using a mushroom-based coffin. And this obviously leaves less of a mark, which is a great way to go. <coughs> <laughs> so I hope you'll agree with me that mushrooms are not just amazing, it's also amazing what you can make using mushrooms. Yeah, I was totally blown away doing the research this video, just how this industry is evolving, how quick it's all happening, just how many examples that we could find. But I'm sure there's some that we've missed. So if there's anything that you know about that we've missed here, do drop a comment below or just let us know which is your favorite product out of the ones that we've mentioned here. And if this video inspired you to want to know more about growing mushrooms, there's an hour long free workshop that we'll link to at the end of this video. It's packed with great information for you to get started. Thanks a lot for joining us today and we'll see you in the next video.